Perfect. How's it going guys? My name is Ethan Bramble. I'm a teaching pro here in the Brighton area where OptiShot's headquarters is located. And I've been hearing some rumblings of some awesome technology and hardware that they're coming out with. And I want to check it out myself. So here I am, I'm going to be reviewing their new down the line Nova launch monitor. I'm super excited to get my hands on this and see how accurate it is. I've been hearing a lot of great things about it. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so before we jump into this closest to the pin challenge, I just wanna talk about just a couple things that really struck me about this Nova launch monitor. And the number one thing was just the price point and the affordability. And my students are always asking me, Ethan, I want a launch monitor, I wanna practice my swing, either in between sessions or in the winter time, it gets a little cold here in Michigan. And it's always hard for me to find the right thing to recommend to fit into their budget. And I feel like this is a perfect unit for that, being within that kind of one to 2000 range. Um, and that's what this is really gonna offer. While also doing the number two thing, which is really giving the accurate representation on what the ball is actually doing off the face. And that's where, when it comes to this TP5X PIX ball, this is actually giving the Nova the ability to accurately represent what the ball is doing off the face with how these are rotating. And I'm not gonna bore you too much on all that. I just wanna show it off now with this closest to the pin. So number three here at Tori, pretty straightforward shot downhill a little bit. We're gonna see how we do with this closest to the pin challenge, which is again, another thing you get access to. The things just kind of keep piling up with this Nova. Um, and you're getting access to the same things that you'd get with maybe the higher end OptiShot units. Really cool feature. So let's jump into this a little closest to the pin challenge and see how we do. A little push. All right, we're dancing. I felt like I pushed it a little bit. And again, it gave me the accurate representation that was just a little bit fanned out to the right. Not bad though, we're on the board. We got six attempts here. Let's, let's go after it again here. And again, this is down the line unit. I've been in this position where I've had parties, my left-handed buddy, shout out Jake. We're kind of all playing and we got to flip it back and forth with the down the line. Don't have to worry about any of that. So it's good. It's good for when you're throwing parties with your buddies, um, doing golf leagues, things like that. So I, I feel the pain with those kind of face on units. Sit, 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 sit. Ooh. 15 feet. I mean, if I was playing this course in real life, I mean, I would be very ecstatic about that. And again, when it comes to real life, you're getting access to 20 real world courses with this Orion software that you get access to with this unit. And again, I've got a lot of big things to talk about with that, um, but the things just keep piling up. 15 feet though, we'll take that. Sit, sit, sit. Ah, I felt like I just closed the face a little bit on that one, kind of turned it down a little bit. Again, so accurate. I'm very impressed. Yeah, don't think for a second that because of that price point that you're not getting an accurate representation of what your ball would be doing. I mean, this is dead accurate. Oh, this will be good. Spin, spin. 15 feet again, 15 feet, nine inches. Okay. Again, the awesome thing about this, you don't need any stickers or anything like that. We got one high speed infrared camera measuring everything that you need to determine what your ball is going to do. Draw, draw, draw. Ah, it's like 22 feet. All right. All right, one more. Here we go. Come on. For all the marbles here. 
see, I got this leaderboard over here on the left kind of showing me um, what people have done here on this hole in the past. So it's kind of another cool feature. Looks like two feet is the shot to beat here. So let's see if we can get a good one for our final shot. Ooh, that's good. Come on, draw a little. Oh, that was nice. 12 feet, 13 feet. All right, we beat our 15 feet. So cool. I mean, the fact that I just hit those six shots right there and didn't really get any misreads or anything like that. I mean, there was accurate representation because of that TP5X picks golf ball. I mean, we're, we're getting everything that we need. So it's always kind of annoying when you're doing challenges like that and you get a shot where it's just like, wait, where'd that come from? And so none of that's happening. That was kind of my first thing when it comes to just looking at how accurate this thing is. So um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little hole just so we can see how driver to putter, there's no limitations. And again, right here lefty, anybody wants to play on this, you're good to go. Okay, so you've seen when that closes to the pin challenge, how accurate it is in terms of the ball flight, how it reacts when it's on the green. Now we're gonna show off playing golf on this. Driver to putter, no limitations at all. We got a par five here, 570 yards, downhill a little bit. Let's see what this thing can do. Nova's been good to me so far. No doubt it's gonna continue. Might have overdrew it a little bit, but hit that pretty well. Sit a little, sit a little, sit a little. Okay, not bad. Again, downhill, so that's why I went a little bit further. Got a bit of a tough shot here into the green, but I mean, I'm happy with that drive. Looks like this is probably the best angle at that pin too, with being on the back right. So let's see what we're gonna hit here. Okay, smoke that drive. Again, a little bit downhill, so it stayed in the air a while. Went pretty far, but all in all, very accurate so far. Got a 247 yard shot downhill. That water looks pretty scary. Caddy, what do we got in terms of carrying that water on the right? 230. Two, 230 clears the water. The rough is gonna take a little bit off of it, right? Five to 10%. Okay, cool. We're gonna play. Can you aim me a little bit to the left with the arrows? Awesome, good. That'll be good right there. So this should just be a nice little stock draw. Let's see if we can knock it on the green. Ooh, be good, be good. Sit a little, sit a little. Stay on the green, nice. Good work, Caddy. That was smoked. Hit that really well. Got myself a little eagle putt here. Let's see if we can do some damage. Wow, that felt good off the face. Nova responded well, super accurate. Nice high draw, love it. All right, Caddy, you've navigated me to this point. 20 feet from the hole, nice little eagle putt. What do we got in terms of break here? A little bit left to right. A little bit left to right, awesome. Downhill, just a hair. Let's see if we can make an eagle here. Stay up, oh, okay, nice, a little gimme. I like that, my buddies give me those sometimes. <laughs> but one under through one. Okay, one under par so far, par three, number 15, 124 yards, a little bit downhill. I mean, again, what you see is what you get so far. I mean, the ball flight's been unreal. The graphics have been unreal. Really happy with it so far. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going here. That was a little thin. It's gotta get down. Ooh, okay, got it. Yeah, it felt like I caught that right about there, just a groove low. But again, 
an accurate representation. That's exactly what that ball should have done. I knew it coming off the face. Good job, Nova. <laughs> now, I've got a little bit of a tough putt here. All right, just trying to snuggle it up there. That's it, that's it, that's it. No gimme. Not bad though. Yeah, I wouldn't be that disappointed with that, honestly. I mean, it was pretty downhill, right to left. So pretty straight in here. Nothing too crazy, Caddy. Uh, left to right break. Okay. A lot or? Yeah, I think uh, several inches left to the cup. Perfect. Love it. All right, let's get out of here with a par. Keep our one under going. All right, that was a big misread by me. <laughs> I should have listened to my caddy when he said it was breaking right left to right. Okay, so that wraps up the today's content. We got a lot of content coming soon with these guys. It was really fun to just check out just how awesome all this new hardware and software they got coming out is. Um, again, stay tuned for a lot more of that. But this is a total showcase of just how accurate, just how authentic it all feels. Um, it's all made here in the US too, which is such a cool thing. You don't see that a lot with a lot of the competitors. Um, and the, probably the coolest feature of it all, there's no subscription fees. You buy your unit and you're in. So I think that's so cool. Um, no hidden fees, no anything like that. Um, I'm really loving what these guys are putting out um, and I'm excited to get loud about it and just talk about how great it is. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll see you in the next one.